Uh, hello everybody. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to be taking you, using my drone, Phantom 4 Pro, to three of the uh, desert arrows that were featured in one of the, I don't know, what Discovery Channel programs about uh, strange things found by satellite images. Anyway, uh, these desert arrows um, are still in existence. Many of them are uh, approaching 100 years old now. Um, and they were created for the postal service, the airmail, uh, at a time when we didn't have electronic navigation aids. So they positioned these arrows, oftentimes with uh, lighted beacons, rotating beacons uh, with a generator beside it, so that the pilots uh, could navigate across the country. Uh, they were typically spaced about 10 miles apart, but I think it varied somewhat depending on the terrain. This particular location is at Lake Point, Utah, uh, about 25 miles west of Salt Lake City, and you can see the interstate right beside you here, that's US 80, and heading west from Salt Lake City, again, about 25 miles from Salt Lake City, and a little more than 100 miles, or about 100 miles to Wendover from here. So this is the first uh, arrow that I've got, and it's in not bad shape. You know, some cracks here and there. The um, the towers, the rotating beacon is no longer there, but uh, there was some evidence of a ladder uh, there. So uh, now this is looking looking towards the west from basically above the the uh, desert arrow and you have US 80 kind of curving along there and then more towards the right and heading towards the center is the causeway for uh, the trains that go between Salt Lake City and um, Wendover so the Amtrak train would take that so this is the first location at Lake Point, Utah, and this is the second location uh, in Stockton, Utah. About, um, not quite 18 miles away from the the first loca location we were at, so this arrow is in uh, considerably worse condition. And you can see this is, you know, the second one that I've approached where there was a, a good deal of um, power lines in the way. And so I was quite cautious in approaching it so as to avoid getting too close to the power lines because that's never a good thing. And obviously you can see the, uh, the, the arrow is not in nearly as good a condition as the first one. Uh, the center portion of it is pretty broken up, but... Um, you know, again, we're approaching a hundred years since these were installed. And really, they were only in operation for about 10 years, something less than that, really, before uh, the first of the electronic navigation aids uh, started to, to roll out. I'm not sure what that symbol on the arrow itself is. Almost looks like a flaming beer or something. But as you can imagine, people uh, have come up and adorned them with one thing or another as they're discovered. So the way these kind of worked is a, a pilot would fly basically in the direction of one of these arrows and when he would get to it, or she, uh, the direction the arrow would point to the next beacon, next waypoint as it were.
And that's looking towards the Tooele uh, military base. And that's the direction that's looking. Pretty much in the direction of the first arrow that we were at. So now this is the third arrow uh, at a location almost midway between Salt Lake City and Wendover. Uh, a location at exit 62 uh, that's called Lakeside. So I kind of uh, reconnoitered these uh, locations first using Google Earth, so I didn't have to stumble around a long time tr trying to find them. And uh, as it turns out, I, I mean, I was within, you know, 30, 40 feet just with my first guesstimation of the aim for it. So, And there's the, the final arrow. And you can see this arrow is in considerably better shape than the other two. And by my observation, somebody has come along and repainted that. And probably quite recently, probably within the last year or two. So you can see a couple of vehicles moving along that, that road. That's looking kind of north. You can see the the uh, the arrow is right underneath where a basically a dirt car path is. So if that paint uh, was there very uh, for any length of time, you would imagine there would have been tire marks across it. So that's got to be pretty recent. All right, so the direction that this arrow is pointing, this from the center to the arrow tip, that's pretty near, not exact, but pretty near the direction of the very first desert arrow that uh, we stopped at. Uh, and that first desert arrow is in fact about 35 and a quarter miles away. I'll put the latitude, longitude, uh, information in the notes so if you want to you want to kind of check into this yourself you, you, you can do that just check the notes and I'll, I'll have that information so um, this is pretty much the end of the video again inspired by uh, I don't know if it was Discovery Channel uh, you know strange things from satellite images just kind of a cool thing that um, you know existed for a very short time but was necessary. So thanks for watching.